All right, folks, we're coming up on the possibly the overturned boat. We got a thunderstorm moving up on us. What a tense situation with our camera from here. Without pushing myself, you never, never know what you're going to see next right here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. We're looking at a race gone or a rain here. Thunderstorm's moving up. We had a boat overturned. It's already started to rain. Sure, it's like wonder what happened here. What in the world we got a big thunderstorm coming, folks? Maybe a tornado we don't know. It's getting ready to rain hard or something here. That's destroyed. Looks like we got a wonder what happened to it. We're going to find out, folks. Stay with us on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. Exclusive footage right here. Down here, exclusive footage right here. Here's the man that piloted that. What happened to that fan boat? Oh, it just went over. Just swamped. Swamped it. Yeah. Swamped it right here. Initially, we uh, we came upon a, a rescue, a little rescue situation. Some, some of these guys got caught in the brush. We saved them. Ironically, in turn, we go down ourselves. Is that right? Yeah. There it is right there, folks. He just, yeah. he just sw swung around and took on water, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. You think it, it'll be probably be okay where it is, right? I think so. I think so. We'll get it in a little closer. You got it tied, tied off right now. we got severe thunderstorm yeah. moving in right now, folks. Yeah. We're going to shut our camera off to save it. The rescue squad's taking the, what canoers are left out of the race right here on the Elk River. The thunderstorm's moving in, heavy rain. We're going to have to, we're going to, have to pull it off. Thank you very much. We're gonna we're gonna stop, folks. Stay with us right on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. Exclusive footage. Thunderstorms coming in. We're gonna have to shut the camera off. It'll it'll be damaged. Again, the uh, another fan boat here on the Elk River came to assist some canoers that got stuck. They took they swamped and took on water. There it is. We got a severe thunderstorm moving in. And that's the way it is right here. Everybody got out safe. No casualties. Lightning's hitting, and I'll be. I'm not gonna get hit by lightning like that uh, Huntsville camera guy <laughs> did down there in Huntsville. Now Bush. What about it? Hey, this is wild, David. This is an exciting trip up the Elk River, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> all right. We got pelted with all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, and we got a lot of rain coming in. Al, Al's going to shut the camera off. Cable viewers, stay with us right here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. For the rain. Uh, cable viewers, we're back on the air. We're still uh, stranded right here in, the, in the, I guess, a, 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 a lull in the thunderstorm passing over uh, Lincoln County. And, uh, again, your name? James Gray. James Gray. And, Pan on around there, folks, to the uh, fan boat and also the canoes and uh, the rain's trying to pick up again. Want to give you some more footage. You made an attempt to uh, rescue these uh, 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 river river uh, canoe uh, rafters here yeah. at the 4th of July celebration, and you actually picked them up from the canoes you we're looking at right now. Of course, they left them all behind in their gear. You actually had them on the boat, the fan boat, yeah. making an effort to go on back down to the finish line right. when what happened? Uh, when when I was coming around, it swamped it. Uh, the water weight come up across the top and swamped it. Uh, it. Swamped it, and then of course we had this thunderstorm move in, and we had the rescuers come up here and pick up all the uh, canoers, right? Right. Correct. And Correct. We, and, and now we're here to cope with the lightning and everything. Of course, we we've uh, we've got the the gentleman that brought us down here, but right now we're we're going to try to pull yours out of the muck if we can. Yeah, if, if we're able to get that nose to raise up and get it up out of there. I don't know that uh -huh. we will be able to. Now, now because of the heavy load, Al, if you can swing on around there before we have to shut our camera off again, the rain's starting up real bad. You you're uh, you had a, a quite a, several hundred pounds of weight on there, and then when you when you swerve on around to take off, you had about a two-foot weight sweep swamp the boat, right? Correct, correct. Uh -huh. But, you know, hey, those things happen. That's the uh -huh. facts of life. Right, right. <laughs> and we've got a lot of uh, severe uh, lightning hitting we're under a tree here, but we're, we wince every time the lightning hits. I'm hoping it'll pass over us. But anyway, we just <laughs> just kind of fell into this thing. Again, the, everybody was rescued in fine shape, except the rescue rescuers. And, and uh, Yeah, the rescuers, one needs rescuing now. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we got this gentleman over here that, that brought us in off the, whoa, oh, 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 watch that mud. And uh, brought us in, we might have to have our truck pulled out of where we parked because of the heavy rain. But again, we, we came down here on your fan boat. Yeah. And you've had a lot of experience in this type of weather and, and current, whatever. Yeah, I used to drive them a lot down in Florida. 
Uh-huh, but it's one of them things they flip all the time, but they're safe. And we've got, uh, about the wakes. we've got one, two, three, four, five people. Can we get five people on your boat to get out of here if necessary? Oh, yeah. We don't need to wait on anybody to come rescue us then. Oh, no. We'll Long get out of here. Out. We may get a little wet. Yeah, we'll get a little wet. Uh -huh. We'll get home. We're going to try to get his boat out first, though, before we leave. All right. Try to get his boat out, and then we're, we're going to try to leave. Hopefully, we can get it out of here. Not a whole lot of depth in this water. It's moving quite fast, but it's not very deep. Right. Yeah, not right there. Probably four foot deep, is it? Yeah. And again, the, the the rafting people, they'll come back down here later and get their boats. I hope they do. If, uh, if they don't generate too high up at Thames Ford Dam, then it, the, if the water level raises very much, then all their gear and stuff will be washed on down, won't it? It'll just be gone. Because yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll get us there. I won't worry about their canoes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Again, folks, the, the, we had, what, two two different canoers here that got rescued? Yeah, I believe it was. All right. Four. Four. Four, four, four canoers. Okay. Again, Al, if you sweep on around there, there's their... I see their life jackets there in the brush and the canoes. Water's coming down quite heavy, and we're going to have to protect our camera equipment, so we're going to cut off right now. And uh, again, right here, caught in the middle of the, of the activity, literally right here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. Stay with us, folks. More to come. All right, folks, we're running again. Rain's passed. We're trying to pull this boat off the bottom of the river. Trying to unswamp the boat right here. Trying to unswamp the boat, folks, right here. The rain's passed up. We got the camera back out. They're trying their best to pull it up here in the shallow water. Shot right here, Florida Everglades type boat trying to pull it off the bank, folks. Using all the horsepower he can to get it off. Trying their best to get it get it out of the water so they can run it, uh, put the bilge pump on it, folks. The rain's let up. We've survived the lightning and the rain. We're still on the Elk River, and he's trying his best. The rescuers are having to be rescued right out of here at the big Elk River canoe race. They're trying their best to get this other airboat. They get the hull up high enough to run the bilge pumps. They can pump out the bilge and. and get it going again. Again, they had it overloaded. They rescued these canoers. The boats, the yellow boats that you see here in the foreground, folks, they tried their best. They had the full load, probably overloaded with the uh, people from the canoes, getting ready to turn around and go back to the finish line. And they took on water and swamped this airboat. And, uh, and uh, of course, to compound things, had the big thunderstorm hit us. And now they're trying to get it afloat, pull it up to where the water's below the uh, hull so they can run the bilge pumps. And now it looks like they got a lot of undergrowth there too. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it's collected on the boat, David, back yeah. there. And uh, I guess that was in some of the current with the rain and everything, yeah. knocking it out of the trees. Yeah, they're trying their best to get it on up here in the shallow water. 
You never know what you're going to see next on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. There he goes. Okay, well, viewers, they're going to try to shorten the distance at least by 50%, get a little closer to it, and they're going to try to pull it on up here where the water is only a few inches deep. As long as they can get that hull ab above the water line, they can run the bilge pump and get this thing going. And again, we got a lull in the storm. It quit raining. We got some more heavy clouds. Looks like they're moving in, and we're going to try to get this airboat uh, airborne, <laughs> waterborne here. And as you can see, a lot of the uh, stuff that's washed on it since it's been uh, swamped. Uh, all the canoers have been rescued, and we're sitting here trying to watch the rescuers w rescue the other rescuers, right, Al? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of an ironic situation, David, I'd yeah, say. We both got drenched out here. We, Our camera equipment has uh, survived. I hear, sounds like maybe another boat may be trying to come up this way. You know, you know, it sounds like it. I can hear something. I know, but I I know the people. We, we, we've been gone now for uh, going on an hour, and... Uh, we vanished from the finish line. I imagine them people down there wondering what's going on, right? Yeah, if they're even around. Uh -huh. Well, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna they're gonna try it again, folks. Again, half less than half the distance. They're gonna try to pull it on up here in the shallow water. If they can get that water line above uh, below the hull, they can run the bilge pumps and clear out some of that br uh, undergrowth that's washed aboard, and try to get this other fan boat started, or at least get it get it where we can tow it back to the finish line. And uh, we've we've never been involved in anything like this, have we? Yeah, we just uh, this is this is a totally different uh, view to <laughs> Tennessee Valley Cable Network, buddy. You know, we we always try to cover the good time stuff, but here today we got involved in a in kind of a uh, dramatic story, don't you think? Yeah, but this is still good time stuff. Everybody got out of it okay. We got a little wet for it, but uh, looks like they're going to do all right getting this boat out. We're going to try it this time and see what happens. Yeah. All right, Cable. Okay, well, if you'll stay with us right here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network, he's going to get in and try it again. And uh, I've invited these these people up to the big uh, Take a Kid Fishing Rodeo with Bill Hall and Jamie Cooper up here on Thames Ford Lake. That's and coming uh, up on the 12th, David. That's coming up on Saturday the 12th, and we'll be there covering that. And uh, hopefully we'll get one of them to come up there and take take us around Thames Ford with a big fan boat. Anyway, he's getting ready to start the prop. I'm going to step back here a little bit, as I hope you will too. And we're going to see what happens. It appears to that they have the uh, hull above the water line, which means they should be able to, if their bilge pumps are working, they should be able to pump uh, pump it out, right, Al? Yeah, I'd, I'd say it is, David. Right. I'd say you're right. And he's he's coming up there trying to get it get it ready. Folks, it might have a happy ending to this story, too, it looks like. Uh, stay with us. We'll keep you in tune. We're going to hear from a few of our sponsors, and then we'll be back to see if they pump it out and get a start. Right, Val? Sounds good, Dave. Let's All go right. to the sponsors. All right, let's, let's hear from our sponsors. Stay with us, folks. Okay, cable viewers, we're back on. We're still barely here. We, we, the rain pilot front finally came through. We got the Lincoln County EMA Fire and Rescue down here. We're still trying to bail out this uh, uh, airboat. And uh, again, we survived all the lightning and everything. And uh, they, uh, it's been a been something else here. They're going to try to pull this thing up here. We'll get out of the way. We're going to talk to some of these people that just got on the scene. We're Al Bush and myself are wanting to be rescued, aren't we, Al? <laughs> <laughs> Stuck on this gravel yeah. bar out here. <laughs> we survived a severe lightning storm and torrential downpour. We managed to keep the camera uh, dry. And uh, they're trying to get this boat fixed where it uh, will float. This is the one that got swamped 
Uh, they overloaded it. They understand they rolled this thing two or three times. I think they lost a couple of batteries in the water, didn't they, Al? Yeah. Yeah. And they're bailing, bailing it out right now. What? Well, let me let me get your. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, I'm Brad Sullivan. I'm a volunteer farmer for Central Station. Is that right? And y'all just came down here. Where where were you when it when it come the big storm? Uh, well, we was heading back up river. Captain Greg Dunn there uh, hollered us to come back up here and help get some other people out. And we was halfway up the river when the storm hit. Uh huh. So we just tried to seek some shelter wherever we could. At the yeah, time. Uh, the other gentleman over here said y'all found a cabin somewhere. To... Yeah, I found a cabin right down here, right down the river. It's just a little piece. Uh huh. All right. All right, hopefully it's cooled off the front's past, and we're going to try to get this boat floating here. We get get the water out of it, folks. Right out here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. You never know what you're going to see next. This 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 is Scott Swinford, right? Yes, sir. Scott, were you were you down here on the on the river during the canoe race? Yes, sir. All right, and you were with the rescue people. Did you ever dream this would happen today? <laughs> Wasn't planning on it. You wasn't planning on it. Now y'all y'all come back down here, I guess, didn't you, to get the rest of the when this thing swamped to bring the people back that they tried to rescue? Yeah, when the weather hit, my call called and told us to get everybody off the water. Right. There's my captain, you need to speak uh -huh. with them. All right. They're trying to get this thing up here, folks. Uh thunders did you hear the thunder? It looks like we might have some more severe weather moving in and we, what we're interested in doing is getting off the river and getting on back home. So this has been, this turned into an odyssey, hasn't it, Al? It has, man. We're about done with it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. You know, you never know what you're going to see next right here on Tennessee Valley Cable Network, and we never knew we were going to get into this when we came down here and covered the canoe race, a bright, sunshiny day, not a cloud in the sky, and then all of a sudden we we came down here to cover an overturned canoe or, or a rescue deal, and we got caught up in the thunderstorm. And we're going to talk to the captain here if he gets out of that mud, buddy. He's Captain Greg Dung, right? Park City Rescue. Yes, sir. Sure am. Now, now uh, when, when did you find out about this mess here? Well, we was advised to clear the river for the bad weather, and uh, we returned up here to help some folks who was on the canoe, and uh, this fellow here was also attempting to help and uh, huh. got into a mess himself. So, uh -huh. so we just uh, he tried. tried to pick up the canoers, and I guess he had too many passengers on board and got swamped. Right. Well, he went to try to turn around out there, and then uh, something happened—the current or something. Uh -huh. We turned over, and then you, the bad weather hampered you, and we had we haven't, we we uh, you left, and then I guess we, we hadn't seen you for over an hour. Yes, we had to return with us. We had some folks that was in the canoe. We had to return them to a cabin up here on the hill and get them sent back to safety. And, uh, and you all had to take shelter yourself. Correct. We had to get off the water also. Uh, you all had probably a dryer shelter. We had we were been under the trees over here uh, dodging lightning. Oh yeah, we had a cabin, so. <laughs> Have you ever been involved in anything like this before? This is my first year to do this. It's probably going to be my last. <laughs> well, I know we're, we're not used to covering events like this. You know, we we're, we were almost a victim ourselves. Yes, it, uh, it the storm come out of nowhere. We, you know, they just advised us within about 10 minutes after they advised us to clear the river, We it was on top of us. So it was just almost impossible to do anything. Well, hopefully we can get on back here shortly, and uh, I'm hoping they're able to float this thing, at least tow it back. That's what we were attempting to do. We we're going to get all the water out of it and get it up, and then just tow it back now, on our boats. I understand when they when they got the people off this airboat that they attempted to try to turn it over or something to get the water out. Yeah, we tried to turn it over and get it up on the bank, and uh -huh. the storm come in, we had to leave it. So. Yeah, yeah. So they're finally getting it swamped out, and he, he told me he lost a battery or two out here in the river. I don't know. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's got a cold sun drop right over here, buddy. Hey, he didn't take long to get that cold. All right, happy Fourth of July right here on the Elk River, folks, and. Uh, we're going to try to get out of here before another wave of uh, lightning and thunder comes. We're going to, we're going to uh, take a pause for the calls here. And let's, get a sh let's get a shot of this. Well, they, Fourth of July is busy, folks. All kinds of things going on. And we, I guess, got caught up in part of the news here today. Again, we're going to close it out. We're going to try to get on back to the truck out here and hopefully the 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 we came down a kind of a crazy road didn't we al yeah Ho hopefully we'll be able to get out without a wrecker right yeah i think we'll be okay dave we'll just uh put the pedal to the middle and go <laughs> a lot of mud out here as you can see folks and uh again most everybody no injuries out here everything's going fine 
they're getting this thing out of the water and we're going to cruise on back to the, our news truck back on back to the studio right here on the tennessee valley cable network stay with us folks now he's what is he doing over here al let's walk on over right before we close out i saw some sparks i don't know what he's doing trying to build a fire or what <laughs> there he is he's closing it what were you doing there Trying to get a light for you. Trying to get. <laughs> well, we, we kept on seeing all these sparks, and you're just trying to get a light, right? Yeah, give us a match. Yeah. You got one? Yeah. <laughs> Getting a dry match again. Again, looks like you're you're going to be able to get towed at least, right? Yeah, buddy. We'll get it on hand. All right. Only we'll you be didn't... on the river for the next week. Is that right? Well, we want to invite you up to Tim's Ford Lake for the big Take a Kid Fishing Rodeo with Jamie Cooper and Bill Hall the 12th, Saturday the 12th, okay? All right, all right. All right, Sounds folks. Good. You never know what you're going to see, folks, on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. We're going to go up here to higher ground, and we're going to close it all out, and we're, hopefully we'll have a peaceful rest of the 4th of July. Stay with us on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. You got a, a light? Okay, Ken.